for what is the Groove Pool in Ableton. Today I will show you some small tips how you can work on your drums and synths and bassline or whatever with swing and groove in Ableton Live. Let's have a look. Okay, let's get started. I imported a drum rack with just one simple hi-hat in here. And I drawed a simple 16th pattern. Pretty static. This sounds not very interesting. I showed you in a former tutorial a different way how to make this sound more interesting. Today we will try it with a groove. You will find the groove pool in here. To import grooves, make a right click and go to the library. In here you will find different swings and grooves. Eights, sixteens, thirty twos, grooves from the MPC. I imported some grooves already. Let's have a listen to the dry shaker loop without the groove. And now with one of the grooves. Let's take a more extreme one. Or an easier one. Now in the second step I imported the shaker loop. Let's listen to this one. I would like to adapt the groove of this hi-hat to the upper one. For this you make a right click and select Extract Groove. The extracted groove will appear now in your groove pool. Select your shaker and select the groove. Also, if you want to change the groove in the loop, go to the loop, select all, create transit markers. I do this with command I and select another groove. You can do this to all kinds of MIDI nodes, for example, on bass lines. percussions or whatever you like. This was just a short overview about swing and grooves. Try light settings, extreme settings or extract grooves from other tracks or other loops. For sure you will find the perfect swing for your next track. <laughs>